Hi there, welcome back to the Patrick's Review. In this episode, Frankenstein 80, an Italian horror film directed by Mario Mancini, year 1972. Hi there, welcome back to the Patrick's Review, your guide to the wild world of science fiction action horror cinema with me, your host, Mila Sipka. If you want to spell my name, just look at the channel name. Now, in this episode, we'll look at the film Frankenstein 80, also known as Mosaic and also known as Midnight Horror, which was a, an Italian film from 1972. It's actually half police procedural and half horror film. It's premiered in Italy on the 12th of December 1972, in France on the 26th of June 1974, and in West Germany on the 12th of August 1977. It was directed by Mario Mancini, and also starred John Richardson and Gordon Mitchell. Now, an early modernization of the Frankenstein story, and one of the early Italian ones, and the Italians did quite a few Itali uh, Frankenstein films during the 70s. This rather sleazy police procedural and horror flick is one of a handful of Frankenstein adaptations to attempt to update itself by adding a then futuristic year to its title. Not really a good thing to do as it dates the film eventually. In this case, in the Berlin Hospital, a transplant doctor's only jar of an experimental anti-rejection serum has been stolen by a deviant colleague, who needs it to assist with his personal project to bring to life a patchwork body made up of organs he's been stealing from the hospital morgue. The serum's theft means that the intended initial recipient, a heart transplant patient, dies from complications following surgery. The victim's brother, a crime journalist, gets permission from the doctor to hunt down the deviant. While the deviant's creation, Mosaic, a hulking bold zombie with a nasty habit of killing beautiful women and filling up their breasts, goes on the loose with an insatiable appetite for female flesh. With a former Peplum star, and a future Italian Star Wars knockoff star buffing the cast, this sleazy beast of a film is rather episodic in nature, with a few killings of women who get their to clothes torn off, with dull investigational stuff sandwiched in between. Not a good film by the, any measure, but devoted to the bad movie cult and professional bad film masochists will have this pretty much go right up the alley. So Frankenstein 80 pretty much lands on a D, 2 out of 10. It's bad stuff, alright. Now for gore and nudity. Yeah, this is Italian horror so we get some body parts served up. I thought the gore is not the film's real focus. What does get the film's focus are boobs, and plenty of them. I counted at least 5 pairs seen here as well as a bum. The most notable tip flashes belong to Marisa Traversi as the hooker, also uh, on the credits she's listed as second prostitute, who takes Mosaic the monster to a room and strips off to show an extended view of her boobs, and a couple of brief glances of her ass right before she gets killed, and Anne Odessa as a stripper who gets killed while naked in the dressing room, her boobs are seen throughout. Now, if you want to get this on DVD, it is available on the Pure Terrace from Mill Creek. The Pure Terrace is also multi-regional, so you can play on any DVD player in the world, pretty much. Okay, that's it for that one. Not much of a review, but there's not much to say about that particular film. Pretty forgettable stuff. Not terrible, but pretty bad. And I'm not sure if the Mill Creek print is uncut. It looks like it, but not really. There's no listing of it in TV compares. There's no way to check up on that. Anyway, now Sydney's pretty much hit by the coronavirus lockdown again. We've more than 100 cases of coronavirus going up there. Yeah. As for the coronavirus, I got a little message for the coronavirus, if that virus can hear me. On behalf of all the people who have been sick and injured and dead from this virus, well, corona, fuck you and the Wuhan Virology Institute horse you rode in on. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you the coronavirus. <laughs> now, sometime in August I'm going to try and do one episode every two days, if possible, but... I don't know if it's... We'll see about that. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. Now, if you have any questions about DVDs you want me to answer, just hit me up in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Hope you guys are staying safe, and that's it for this review. Take care.